Big, big game tonight. Top-ranked Michigan taking on third-ranked IU. The Hoosiers have beaten a top-ranked team only six times in school history. Everybody's been talking about this game all week. It has the feel of an NCAA tournament game. So let's go live right now to our Brad Brown, who's live at Assembly Hall in Bloomington. Take it away, Brad. Drew, thank you and good evening. Definitely a buzz down here in Bloomington tonight. The IU women's team is wrapping up their practice as the evening continues here. Downtown, the bars are overflowing already. They don't open the doors here at Assembly Hall actually until 7.30 this evening, but this game is sold out. In fact, it's probably way beyond sold out. If you've got a ticket, you feel lucky as an IU fan to be coming into this one. As for the students that are making their way in here tonight, the fun's already begun for them. We were just outside Assembly Hall here. Within the last hour, we saw a couple thousand of them already lined up. They officially began lining up at 3 o'clock this afternoon. Now, the fun part of talking to some of them is the fact that about 1 o'clock this afternoon, when they were done with game day here at Assembly Hall, there was sort of a pre lineup across the street from Assembly Hall. They cleared the place out, made them start over, and then a mad dash across the street to get these prime spots in line. It's general admission for the best student seats here at Assembly Hall. And those folks up front will be looking forward to being loud and proud here tonight. Talk to some people who sold their tickets outside of the student section, upwards of $400 and more online for tickets here tonight. Definitely a seller's market, but the kids out there want nothing to do with that. They want to be in here, as do about 17,000 plus for this one. Now, the day started much earlier for some of those fans as ESPN Game Day made its way to Bloomington on its cross country trek for this huge matchup. The wintry weather kept a lot of fans away, but more than 5,000 dedicated ones were up bright and early to take in the action this morning. Here at Assembly Hall, our Chance Walser made his way to Bloomington to soak up some of the flavor. Welcome to College Game Day. Fans answered ESPN's early morning wake up call today, filling Assembly Hall with their candy striped pants and carefully thought out signs. Those declaring this arena the new Home Depot, and others stating simply what they think of the matchup. Then there's this one, predicting what many here hope is the near future for IU basketball. Indiana fans are the best. Everybody grows up with the game in Indiana, so everybody brings a different passion to it that you don't see in other places. The players, many will lose their voices cheering for tonight, took a moment to soak in the scene. Coach Crean was there too, playing games and giving interviews. Oh, I think the atmosphere is incredible. I mean, I, I'm not surprised, but now you, you look at the coldest day of the year thus far. <laughs> And have so many people lined up at 6 o'clock this morning to get in. Some hoping to sneak a pick with analyst and former Pacer Jalen Rose. He remembers those early 90s when he played at then number one Michigan as a member of the famed Fab Five. He also remembers losing to the Hoosiers. Well, their team was pretty good. I mean, last time I checked, Calvert Chaney is the Big Ten's all time leading scorer, and Bobby Knight is a terrific coach. And, you know, I have no regrets. If we were 0 3 coming in this building, they got a great fan base. Um, they're very hostile environment. In the face of that hostility, Rose stood up calling the game for Michigan. Well, they're the number one team in the country. You've got to give credit where credit is due. Many voices, one in song, one in spirit, one in support of their Indiana Hoosiers. Chance Walser, RTV6. And Chance, thanks. We saw some of those same fans that were here bright and early for game day out in the line waiting to get in for this. It's going to turn into about a 15-hour day for some of those kids, but well worth it, they hope, at the end of the night. Coming up in sports at 620, Jalen talks a little more about the game. We'll hear from Coach Tom Crean about the Wolverines as well as we set the matchup between the number three Hoosiers and the number one team in the nation. We'll see you back here then at Assembly Hall in Bloomington.